Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. Today we're going to have a look at SketchUp. Uh, I've been monitoring for a while. I've been looking at the various versions of it, and they've got a 2023 version, uh, which I've downloaded, but we're not going to use that. What I want to do is have a look at the version online, the start modeling. Uh, pretty simplistic, uh, but it gives you a great introduction to the program. Um, yep, yeah, agree, let's get going. So it's downloading, uh, or opening up, I should say. Yeah, it's found one of my earlier versions. <laughs> right, start modeling, and we have our, our friend. Um, so I'm using the mouse scroll to go in and out. So what I want to do is explore the menus on it. Uh, have a little look. Uh, what I like to do on these programs, if I can, is uh, change the settings uh, to millimeters rather than uh, imperial or inches. So I'm changing it. Uh, but what I noticed uh, on this version um, this modeling version is that even though I change it the uh, measurements in the bottom right hand corner don't actually change they they remain imperial so uh, don't waste your time trying to set it for uh, I see that the uh, the little box is, was obscured it was hidden behind their sign uh, Okay, so yeah, let, let's kind of explore and see what we're doing. And we need to draw something first. So let's just start off with a box of one kind or another. Um, yeah, I'd see the measurements are in imperial rather than metric, which would have been my preference. But uh, I know that it won't be like that on the downloaded version. This is a just an introduction modeling online version, which we're using. Um, so let's see if we can get a rectangle going and that should help us now I <laughs> you can probably tell already I'm not a user of SketchUp um, it's not something um, put it this way it's it's something I've been meaning to um, have a good look at and perhaps download uh, because it's uh, as a, as a, as a, an option for some clients that can't actually uh, work out whether they like something or not it's a it's a fabulous product and everybody is kind of interested in SketchUp so here we have we have a box and uh, just a rectangle box I pulled it up to represent uh, it, it's 98 inches uh, so it's about eight foot tall so if we can try and put a door in at some point, uh, here we go. The approximate door size, again, that would be six foot six door by about 32 inches. So we pop that into the face. Um, it's really by adding a box and popping a door in or a window, then you get to sample some of the uh, so I'll keep in mind all the measurements are on the bottom uh, bottom right. So now it's a question of working our way through the tools and seeing uh, what actually works and what doesn't. Or what the tools do. And I have no idea. So, uh, well, maybe I have a little bit of an idea uh, from using other 3D modeling software. But, okay, so that's quite interesting. So you can pull out, you know, wings and so on and so forth. Um, the tools are pretty, uh, it's almost self-explanatory, put it that way. They're very easy, they're very easy to, to work out. And um, so we're just exploring here. Um, you can tell that if you were to play with this and work with it for a while, uh, just messing around, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Uh, you would pick up on the tools very easy. Uh, this is clearly not one I want to be using at this point. Uh, so we're going to go back. Um, yes, let's choose something else. <laughs> uh, choose a section. Let's see what this one does. 
that's easy enough I think let's just pour some paint on a section yeah so we're going to paint that wall uh, this will be for rotation as in uh, a bit like the a bit like the cube rotation I think we can uh, look at it 3d model uh, from any direction uh, so let's see if I'm right about that yes um, uh, so again I think you get to know the pan tools and the orbit tools quite quickly so you can get a quick look at what you're doing so between the scroll and the, sc the mouse scroll uh, the orbit and the pen you really uh, quickly learn uh, how to manipulate the software to see how to give you good a good vi visual of what you're doing so I have no idea now why uh, why that's happening um, I thought I was going to have a push pull on the door I was making but clearly I'm connected with something else right so let's do another another shape on the face um, do the push pull again yeah I'm still connected uh, to the front interesting So again, uh, I'm the pen tool, uh, tape measure, yeah that would be useful. Um, let's move it around a bit, again, uh, success with that tool. Um, so it's, you can see how, how easy it is to draw a box as in representing a house and then uh, putting a few lines on it. Uh, you can get a roof going, pop a few windows in, a few doors in, just very basic stuff. Um, make the house a little bit taller if you make a mistake, make it shorter. Uh, that's brilliant. Now if you were to draw a few lines you could probably fill it and then get a pitched roof going on. Um, yeah, and of course you can fall back and edit the little sections. So if you were working from a layout plan now, where you are a photograph or something, uh, obviously uh, that would work. Uh, this one I, uh, defeats me at the moment, so that's a definite pass until I learn more. Uh, scale, orbit, yeah, we're, so it's amazing now, we're doing this for about five minutes, but already uh, we've got a fair old idea as to what some of these tools are doing look at that that's beautiful so if i wanted to build a little extension on this side um let's see what we're going to do here yeah let's draw an extension uh, get back and highlight it give it a pull and there you go so, yeah, it's really very intuitive. I think, like I say, five minutes and uh, already using a lot of the tools. Right, let's explore the right side. Um, default material, etc., etc. This will be for uh, notes. Oh, yeah, we've got the instructor. So that's basically, the instructor is... Let's just pull the extractor on its own. Yeah, the instructor is basically going to tell you uh, how to use the tools on the left. Bear in mind that if you look at the toolbox on the left at the very bottom, you can open it up and get another 20 or 30 tools. So, uh, yeah, the instructor is giving you specific instructions on the tool operation, whichever tool you've got open. Uh, so that's great. That's going to really, um, you know, help the learning. So if I pull another one, um, there you go, the select tool, push pull. Yeah. So the tool operation modifier keys, it's giving you the shortcuts as well. It's giving you tips. 
So yeah, the instructor is really a very useful aspect. In fact, it's a useful uh, uh, tool because it's going to help you, uh, as in to explore all the tools and then find out how they work and how to modify them and so on. So yeah, I mean, uh, the combination of the tools on the left and the instructor on the right is going to enable you to, uh, well, it's going to accelerate the learning, put it that way. Uh, I'm just tying with the sketch now just to see what happens when you do certain things so uh, and that's what it's all about you're going to spend half an hour maybe have a sitting spend half an hour on it and then uh, explore the tools you get a feel for the program and I mean it's it's, it's absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, and uh, it's so easy to use and I think if you just sit down with a with a goal, as in with a name, with a photograph of something, or with uh, a layout sketch, uh, rather than willy-nilly uh, doing it and just moving the stuff around. I think that's fine in the beginning, but uh, later you come back to it and have a little goal and try to do it, uh, try to achieve. Uh, I think that will accelerate the learning even more. But uh, yeah, I love the product, uh, absolutely. So. Uh, yeah, um, so what else are we looking at here? Go back to the uh, instructor. The pen tool, yeah, always like the pen. Um, as I say, the combination of the pen, the orbit, and the mouse scrolling wheel um, will, you know, allow you to see it from every direction. So we're measuring here, need to check stuff out, not quite sure how to leave the measurement on the drawing, uh, I'm clearly not doing it right, so I'm getting the measurement, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, again I don't really know what I'm doing as in leaving the measurement. Uh, Okay. Yeah, dimension two. I think this one will do it if I, the instructor is uh, showing me how to do it and leave the measurement. There we go. So again, you see, uh, the learning curve is swift. You want to do something, you learn very quickly how to do it. Uh, measurements are hugely important. Uh, look around. Not quite sure how that works. I think I'll settle with the orbit pen and uh, mouse wheel. Um, but I'm sure it'll have specific use at some point. Um, click and drag the cursor to pivot the camera to look around the model tips. Yeah, so uh, as I say. So there's loads of tools, isn't there? I mean, there's loads of tools to allow you to do stuff. So if you're not comfortable on one thing or you don't like using uh, this particular thing, then uh, there, there are multiple ways of doing it. Much like in CAD, there are various ways of uh, doing uh, or doing the same thing, you know, to draw a line, uh, to cut it, chop it, bend it. Um, so I, I guess the same in, uh, in SketchUp. Right, so uh, what are we looking at here? Updates. This will be add-ons, I would imagine. Yeah, so here we go. We're into uh, visual... Uh, these are projects, I guess. Uh, yeah, don't really want to get into this today, but um, it's useful, useful to know that it's all linked in. Uh, what else? Warehouse that would be basically uh, enable you to have a look around at bits you can import. Um, right, close that. Materials, yeah, materials would be that's a useful one. So it's showing the materials used in the drawing, but uh, let's have a look at other options. For materials so it's loading here we go so 
So these are bits we can introduce into the drawing or into the sketch. And uh, let's just introduce something or other. Right. So just see how that works. Okay. Just looking around here. Okay, this is where you would be changing the background colors and um, you know how to communicate or visualize the whole the whole design, uh, the various shades of gray and so on. Uh, okay, I get it. Uh, Yeah, whatever I'm doing doesn't seem to be applying uh, so clearly. Something I need to learn a bit more about. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's lot, lots on here and I guess you gradually work your way through it and you start to see. So we're looking at uh, different ways of displaying the sketch wireframe, hidden lines, okay again lovely lovely learning curve you see how much we've learned in you know 10 minutes um, so uh, to me it's a plus Let's see, see if we can add a little color here or add a little material to my magnificent sketch my new building my new home right stone let's put it on an edge put it on a wall yeah there you go I've just added a stone wall oh I'm getting excited now we'll have a blue swimming pool wall yeah so um, <laughs> again so simple uh, the uh, the icons are great um, right what else Uh, bup, 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 bup. Yeah. Again, you take your time and you gradually work your way through all those bits. Um, guides. Okay, so I think I've just finally worked out that all of the icons on the right, they're actually in one scroll menu. So, the uh, click an icon, it brings you to that section of the menu but generally it's on one big long bar. Um, I'm quite chuffed with this. This is my old friend here. Uh, I don't think he moves. Or Let's have a little look. Oh, I can explode him, but I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good experience. I'm, I'm delighted we've had a look at uh, SketchUp. I've been meaning to do it for a while, do a short video, just in way of introducing and uh, a little walkthrough, give you a feel for the product. And uh, to me, it works great. Thank you for uh, visiting or thank you for watching. I uh, hope you got some value. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks now. Bye bye.